Let us see how you can get started with the Simulink modeling environment to build and simulate dynamic systems. There are two main components in Simulink that we will use in this demo, the library browser and the model editor. You can open the library browser using the Simulink icon on the MATLAB desktop. In the library browser, there are libraries of blocks that you can choose from to model dynamic systems that are continuous in time, discrete in time, or hybrid systems that have both continuous and discrete states. You can create a new model using the new model icon or from the file menu. You can start building the model by bringing the blocks you need from the library browser. Here I am going to build a simple model that takes a sine wave and amplifies it by a factor. I can drag the sine wave block from the sources library and the gain block from the math operations library into the model. When you move blocks around on the model canvas, you can see the smart guides helping you align the blocks for better appearance. To visualize the simulation results, I'm going to use the scope block from the SYNCS library. Now for the gain to process the sine wave and produce an output, we need to connect them using signal lines. You can create a signal by simply dragging a line between the outports and inports of the blocks you would like to connect. Alternatively, you can click on the first block, hold the control key, and click on the second block. You can save block diagrams in the model editor as Simulink models. Let's now simulate the model with its default settings and view the results. To do this, just click on the play button. For the sine wave amplification, let me choose a different gain factor. Simulink allows easy tuning of your model by setting the block parameters. Here, I'm going to change the gain parameter of the gain block to 3. Simulink also supports vector signals. For example, you can generate multiple sine waves by typing a vector of values for one of the sine wave parameters. Let us see the simulation result with these new parameters. To find a block that you would like to use in your model, you can use the keyword search in the library browser. Let me find the zero order hold block. Once you find a block, you can quickly look at the documentation on how to use the block. I'm going to use this block before the gain is applied by simply dropping the block on the signal line connecting the sine wave and the gain block. I can set the sample time parameter for this block and then run the simulation to see the results. To learn more about how to use Simulink, you can look at other videos and examples on the MathWorks website.